Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of movie poster design and which is really good and creative and let's see what I have used over here here is one two three photos and here is a typography here is award and here is some text and the custom queue that's all and some gradient and background all the stuffs so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications i'll show you the easiest way how to make this type of movie poster so going to the file and going to the new options from here i'll take from the print which is the letter type and that is the size is 8.5 and 11 inch and hit the create button after that going to the file and going to the place embedded options and i downloaded a background which is the texture and making this one bigger that's good and making it down and hit the enter button right press and restylize and bg bg for the background you know that so after that going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here here is another stock image which is the girl and hit the ok button right press and crystallize the layer giving the name big girl ok and hit the ok button and after that going to the selection tool from here and going to the select subject the subject will select at a time and going to the mask options from here i'll make this one a little bit smooth and is shifting a little bit like this and then here is new layer mask and then hit ok so this one is masked and after that i'll go to the filter and neural filter so before that you have to apply layer mask and then going to the filter and neural filter and now i'll just harmonize this one before that you can make this the skin smoothing apply this one and blur and smoothness that's good and then harmonize this one according to the background that's good it will analyze by photoshop and provide you the final output and the then hit the ok button after that going to the file and going to the place emitted options a city scape i downloaded from deviant.com or unsplash.com and hit the tick button and restylize the layer here is rename this one city and then going to the screen mode or you can make it clipping mask okay after making this one clipping mask mask this one g from the gradient and press the shift and hold it and just make this one like that and from here as well and this one i need to mask and brush this one and this one actually so this girl as well and okay this one is the overlay system you can embed or you can do this one adjust with the background so make the opposite a little bit down that's fine going to the file again and going to the place embedded another girl photo i downloaded and i'll place this one and then restylize the layer girl 2 and hit the tick button and then selection tool select subject in this case i'll make selection and go to the hair refining options okay that will help you out to make the hair properly refined and layer mask and hit okay so press ctrl or command t you can make this one a little bit smaller like this that's good and hit the tick button and right press and apply layer mask and then again mask it out and then g for the gradient and make this one blend it with the previous image so v from the keyboard and you can make this one into adjust with that okay that's good and you have to harmonize this one as well going to the filter and neural filter and from here you are getting the harmonize options 
and the background is like that it will take time actually actually this one analyzed by the photoshop and it'll, it will provide you that things and hit the ok button so here actually this one and this one okay that's fine and now going to the camera filter filter and camera filter from here and i'll increase the here the sh highlight little bit okay that's fine and hit okay that's good and going to the file again and going to the place embedded options from here actually i'll embed another photo i downloaded from devina.com and right press and flip horizontal and press the enter and right press resize the layer girl 3 that's good and selection tool and select subject actually this one is helping us to select the subject at a time and going to the mask options and then it's shifting a little bit minus 40 contrast a little bit up and it's smooth a little bit up like 51 or 50 and layer mask and hit okay so press ctrl or command t make this one is smaller and place it over there so if you want right press and apply layer mask and you can harmonize this one according to this photo so going to the filter again and going to the neural filter from here i'll select the harmonize options and over here i'll select the city actually so i want to make this one the girl is standing on the city road and that's good and then hit ok and now mask it out g from the keyboard and you can mask this one a little bit and this one mask again and mask a little bit okay that's good we should make this one group actually g3 that means the girl 3 and this one we should rename this one g2 actually here from this g2 and here these three things is g3 making this group and g1 okay that's fine and hit okay that's good and here is the g1 g2 and g3 that's fine now time to add the gradient going to the gradient options from here select the gradient like a blue type gradient actually the teal type gradient we want to use so that's good and this side we can use the red type or orange type that's fine and hit okay from here we want to increase the opacity a little bit up okay that's fine and hit okay and hit okay so you can change the blending mode according to this or you can brush it out so making this one uh, you can make this one overlay or soft light okay the hard light is good for me uh, that is giving you the uh, cinematic vibes actually so we should work with that just because of here some uh, spot is uh, disturbing us so i could make this one bigger so press this one and you can make okay that's good that's good and this three group actually i want to make uh, into another group and making this one into convert to smart object just because of i want to apply another filters from the filter galleries or the camera filters or other stuffs so going to the filters at first going to the filter gallery and from here we'll use here uh, paint dubs from there the brush okay not too much uh, four is good for me and here and hit okay that's good and again going to the filter and going to the camera filter from here we'll increase the exposure a little bit up and contrast a little bit up and the saturation a little bit up here i'll make the highlight a little bit down adding some shadow adding some adding some texture it will make the prominent of the photo and hit ok so that is popped out from the uh, background actually so this background will work with that so going to the filter and the camera filter from here uh, we'll increase the exposure a little bit up and contrast and highlight a little bit down and texture and hit the ok button 
okay that's fine that means the poster or the characters are popped out from the background that is good for a photo or that is good for the audience who are watching this one and then then going to the file and going to the place embedded options here the cast and crew the png files so it should be upper side of the layer making this one upper side and placing it into the middle actually downside and middle and changing the blending mode into linear dodge and then we'll uh, use here the title so i already downloaded this image which is um, the typography from freepick.com i'll provide you the uh, download link of that so i'm taking the flare and the 3d text and copying this one and going to here and control or command v so press control or command t making this one a little bit smaller and placing over there and hit the ok button that is good it will take time to increase or place over there and here in a flare portion here is some flares or here some colors actually so we want to change the color of the flare going to the blending options and going to the color overlay and the orange color the code is eb764c this one and hit ok and we'll change the place over here and the blue color will use over there that's good and this one as well flare going to the blending options and going to the color overlay and already told the color code and placing over there so it will make the vibes over there that is really good so that's fine and now going to the file again and going to the place embedded options and some award png will put over there and change the branding mode into like a, which is really like dark type so difference and press control or command j and press or comma, control or command t and making over there so making another group and giving the name award and this flare and the 3d will make this one into the text layer will define this one text that's good okay press control or command t and making this one a little bit smaller and this group should be into the middle alignment okay or you can make this one manually middle of this so like that that is good and now going to the text tool and drawing or writing some text actually i'll take the font which is poppins type font and normal type font here from here i'll make this one regular and make the font size smaller and uh, the movie by at first we have to change the color so now time to change the text actually going to this one going to the 3d options and update this one actually we are using here the nemesis font and we'll write down here Tokyo and hit the tick button and save this one and this one will save in this window actually so our poster is ready another thing is that we just made a cut in this photo and in this photo so what should we do and how do we do do that so going to this smart object and this photo and making selection a little bit that's good and press control or command j okay and right press and create clipping mask and press control or command t and making it a little bit bigger so it will like that or you can make this one into the downside like this so that's good and this one this photo as well going to the selection tool and making the selection like this so press control or command j press control or command t and you can make this one a little bit bigger 
okay that's fine and this one as well actually in this number 3 press ctrl or command j and make create clipping mask and this one as well make create clipping mask okay that's fine press ctrl or command t and make this one a little bit bigger a little bit not too much okay that's fine and saving this one it will save in this window actually let's see the effects wow it's okay nicely done and now save this one and now save the jpeg file go into this and go into the sa save copy as and here the jpeg file tutorial and save this one and hit ok so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy give me your prayers bye bye